So, hello my friends. Today I want to show you some impressions of the throttle quadrant and the current status of the motorization. Basically I installed the uh, motorization for the throttle levers. You can see the two motors here. This is uh, for uh, the right uh, throttle and this is for the left throttle. So this is uh, is a DC motor. Uh, here is some slip clutch. This is a very cheap one from uh, Konrad. It's a German electronic store. This is a kind of a coupler um, because the diameter of the shaft is six millimeter and here the shaft is eight millimeter. Um, this is the inner diameter of the tooth wheel was eight millimeter. So I had to uh, get from the six millimeter of the motor shaft to the eight millimeter and I had some uh, couplings from my uh, CNC machine still here so I used them. Probably later on I will uh, replace that kind of coupler because uh, it's a kind of uh, yeah instability here you can see. Now, well, you can't see it, but um, I'm going to replace it by. Uh, um, ah, here yeah, you can see it. I'm going to replace it by some kind of a, a, a adapter shaft, which uh, needs to be turned on a turning machine, on a lathe. So um, here you can see how the uh, system is working. This is basically the same style like you can see it from uh, from uh, Fred or Rob or Scott or all the guys in the Cockpit Builders Forum. Um, so actually these motors are driving uh, the throttle levers via um, steel cables. So they go in here, so go down here, go here up and then they go around the, uh, the wheels. You cannot see it very good here, it's too dark. Um, come back down and here is the second one and go back. So if I turn the, the, the wheels um, uh, if I turn the motor, you can see how the lever is moving. Um, for the uh, measurement of the throttles, I have these kind of uh, uh, draw wire sensors. Um, basically, it's a kind of potentiometer inside with uh, some um, spring return. And attached here is a steel cable, so if you pull it out, uh, it will be pulled back in. And this is attached to a potentiometer, and um, so the output will be read by a, a Leo Bodnar card. Uh, I bought these from China. Um, you can get them from an um, American company, I think it's called a Unimeasure. Um, the price, if you if you take it from the American company, is um, converted to euro about 170 euro per piece, so it's really expensive. I was able to get these ones from China, from a, a company uh, called uh, Qi, uh, which is based in Shanghai, so they speak English, it was no big deal uh, to prepare everything, and they shipped these to me. And unfortunately, I ordered the wrong ones, and I ordered some with an output signal, um, Voltage. So uh, when I pulled this, I had as output signal the voltage from 0 to 5 volts, uh, and this cannot be read by the Bodnar card. But fortunately, uh, I, I, I could open them and I took out some uh, a PCB board which um, converted the resistance signal, which these also have because there's a resistor inside, um, a potentiometer inside. So I took out the PCB and uh, just and now I have a very good um, resistance signal here, um, so it's working. So uh, now maybe some words about the trim wheel motorization. Um, I'm going to pause the video and uh, attach the trim wheels. So the trim wheels have been attached and um, yeah, so the trim wheels, they have some a uh, tooth wheel. Um, it's uh, placed around here. You can see it. You, you can't maybe you can see it whatever um, And the trim wheel will be moved by uh, The chain here, and this is also a DC motor uh, Let's try if I can get it freehand Yeah So you can see a trim wheel is moving uh, If I change the polarity it will turn the other way so um, 
this was the trim wheels um, the uh, speed brake is moved by a servo motor here this is a, a fairly a strong servo motor uh, what else I still have to install the uh, the, the potentiometer to get the uh, position of the speed brake so the last item I would like to show is the uh, flaps the flaps position so basically here is the flap lever and uh, here's a small screw with some wire which uh, yeah goes down here goes down here and comes here out for this sliding pot this is an Alps sliding pot with uh, a distance of 100 millimeter um, so yeah and I think it's it's uh, it's a good solution so I still have to connect everything and then start the wiring okay that's all for now and um, yeah see you soon goodbye